Hey, what's happening everybody? It's Damron. We're playing Crash Bandicoot the Insane Trilogy. We've been working through this game, getting all the relics and all the boxes and gems so we can grab all the achievements in this game. We're on mission eight of Crash Bandicoot 2, which brings us to the level called Barrett. The platinum run for this mission is 44.82 seconds. It is a very tight window. As I mentioned in previous guides, if you wanna just get the gold, sometimes levels are easier to do that. The achievement just requires you to get gold on every level and this one's at 40 if it's gold but nonetheless let's show you a platinum run and then I'll break it down for you a little bit slower Alright, so this is a pretty fast level. You see we got 43.3 there, uh, a new record for me. But nonetheless, this is a pretty quick level and there's a lot of things that are, you know, going on. And with these bear levels, what you see me doing a lot is sprinting and jumping, which is just, you know, press your split, uh, sprint button, whatever you have it set to be for me, and then jump. And you're going to be able to get moving a lot faster than if you just run at normal pace with the bear. So a lot of these levels is figuring out where you can jump to and when you can long jump jump and when you need to just kind of slow down and do a normal jump but if I can kind of sprint jump I'm pretty much doing that as much as possible okay and that's kind of the key and with this particular mission and the platinum I will say basically every uh, extra second box that you can get is critical there's really no room for error and missing those boxes if you get platinum on this you know legit you're gonna be doing it by a couple seconds at best um, so here we go we're just grabbing these boxes again you'll see me sprint jump here and I'm gonna do it again and so I'm constantly doing that right and then there's areas where rear where it's a little bit tight where I don't want to do that another area that's pretty tight is these nitro boxes just do a small jump over the first two and then a long jump and then and then we're gonna small jump through this next section now in theory you could probably long jump over that gap and the whales but I find it more uh, you know consistent to do small jumps in that section just because it's a little bit tedious you got to move left and right a lot and get through that section but nonetheless if you follow the steps that I'm showing you and kind of the the ways that I'm showing you to do this you should undoubtedly be able to get the gold medal relic which is what you need for the achievement getting the platinum one on this particular mission is pretty tight Again, even me going pretty quickly, I just beat it by 1.5 seconds. So it is a very tight window, uh, but nonetheless, that is a platinum relic on the eighth mission, Barrett. So now that we've got that, now we need to get our boxes. There's only one additional gem um, on this mission, and that's just to grab all the boxes. So go ahead and head back out, and we're going to pop right back into the mission. And there's 45 boxes uh, that we need to grab in this mission. They're pretty much all on the main path. There's no secret area. Is, um, nothing really specific you need to worry about the only thing that I'll mention um, a little bit later on is if you get to where the ice sections are and you and I you'll actually see it I actually die on this run sometimes the ice sections can be a little bit tricky and you get a box but then you can't seem to get the other one it's okay as long as you don't get a checkpoint it doesn't matter um, it's actually right here right so I slid past that box on the right you know I like to keep it trashy for you guys that's what I do so just immediately die so Something like that happens just immediately die go back to your checkpoint and get the box that you missed um, so nonetheless the boxes on this lever are pretty straightforward they're gonna be all right here in your main path the TNT boxes will explode by themselves and then there's several nitro boxes that we're gonna get by hitting the exclamation mark right at the end of the level so these nitro boxes there's several of these that are gonna tally up right at the end so let's go ahead and get through this and when we get all our boxes we'll grab another gym
All right, so that's all. You should have 33 of 45 boxes when you land at this point here. And as long as you have that, when you hit the exclamation mark, that's gonna blow up 12 additional nitro boxes. And that'll be 45 of 45. I've already grabbed this particular gem on a previous run, but it'll spawn right here for you uh, when you do get all the boxes. And that's it for Barrett. Just a quick run. This is a very short level, not too bad. We've got another platinum relic out of the way or gold if you went for that. And we've got another gem off the board. So that's gonna be everything in Barrett. I hope you guys found that helpful. As always, we're moving along in Crash Bandicoot 2, and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.